uh, yeah, I'll show how to do the, the question uh, in homework. Uh, the question says there's a two pack that are on, uh, on an air hockey table. So the puck A is 5.5 .5 initial velocity, you know, moving towards the puck B, and then there's a collision happens. So the A is going to go this way, uh, B is go this way. The angle are given, but we don't know the velocity of each. So you need to find it out. Uh, and then for this question, uh, you know, when there's a collision. And also, uh, there's an air hockey table, so the friction can be ignored. So you can treat this A, B, two puck system as an isolated system. So uh, before and after this collision, the total momentum should be conserved, uh, should be the same. Uh, but don't forget that the momentum is a vector, so you have to consider the direction uh, of the velocity and then multiply the mass to become the momentum. So uh, before the collision, you uh, can put it here, before and after, right? So before the collision, uh, because the B, pack B at rest, so the momentum, total momentum is just the momentum of the A. So it should be uh, the mass of the A is uh, 0.025 kg and then the B is 0 0.050 kg okay and then so the momentum before the collision should be 0 0.025 uh, multiply 5.5 and the direction is this way right this way to the right and then the collision after the collision there's two momentums uh, one is uh, 0 0.025 that's pack A uh, multiply uh, let's just say no, let's, let's just do this way, make it easier. Just say uh, P A final. And this one is this direction, right? And the angle is 65 degree. And then uh, it should plus, okay, be careful, this is a vector. And the plus, and the P B final is also vector is going this direction and the angle here is 37 degree and of course the this momentum having a direction directly towards the right uh, because this is a vector uh, let's put it this this vector let's put a PA initial right uh, is that much okay that's the and the magnitude is that much the direction to the right so this uh, momentum should equals to uh, the PA final plus PB final uh, since we have only three vectors if we add them together these two added together equals this one. So we can construct a triangle to reflect this kind of relation. So we should have this one and this one. They add it together. Okay. They add together it should form a parallelogram and then it should equal this one diagonal right here. Okay. 
So let's make it clear to label all the stuff. This is a PA initial. Uh, this is a PA final. This is a PB final. And this angle is 37 uh, degree. This angle is 65 degree. Uh, we also know uh, this one already is 0 0.025 times 5.5 .5, so this is known and also because this is a parallelogram right so there are parallel so this two is parallel this two nine is parallel so this angle is also 37 degree here so now we focus on the triangle on the top so we can see we know one side the bottom side is known so we just need to find out this one and this one because these two are the same right so as long as you can find these two sides, so you can solve this two uh, momentum, PA final and PB final. And then in turn, you can find out the speed. Okay, so use, uh, uh, of course, this angle. Yeah, we need to figure out this angle uh, because uh, this two angle, the an this angle should be 180 degree subtracted both. So it should be. 78 degree. Okay, so use sine law. So eventually, it might depend on the question. So eventually, if you only have three vectors, you form the triangle, then you can use sine law or cos law. In some cases, you have to use sine cos law. But here, you can use sine law. So the PA final divided by the opposite angle of this side of this side is 37 degree so it's sine 37 degree and then should equal so we have to use this side this side because we know it so it's PA initial which is this side and the opposite angle is 78 degree so sine 78 degree and obviously uh, you can solve this for PA final equals so, we, uh, uh, so if you calculate the PA uh, it should be uh, PA, uh, PA final equals PA initial and divide by sine C8 and then times sine 37 degree and then to find out the V uh, A final so you just simply use the PA final divided by the MA right which is 0 0.025 and if you calculate you should get 3.38 meter per second and the same similar equation for to find out PBF. So PBF uh, divided by sine 65 degree equals PA initial sine 78 degree. And very similar, you can finally get uh, solve the PB. PB final and then uh, the VB final just simply uh, should be PA initial over sine 78 multiply sine 65 degree and then divide by M uh, B so the answer should be uh, two pa two point five five meter per second. Uh, of course, if you like, if if you prefer, you can use components, right? Like the uh, the question is uh, when there's only three uh, vector.
the relation you can construct the relation between the three vectors so you can form a triangle so this is the way I prefer uh, you can always do the uh, component way right you resolve the a into p a x p a y and then for the b is p b y p b x so then horizontal uh, of momentum of the a equals the two ver horizontal component and then the two vertical component they should add together equals zero right? uh, if you do that way uh, you'll get the same answer so whichever you like.